All right, folks, so what we have here is a Nightcore flashlight. It's a pen light flashlight, and the model number is MT06MD. It's made for first responders and medical professionals. What I wanted to do is do a quick overview of how it ships, some of the features, a spec rundown, and then take a little bit of a look at the beam and then how the emitter works. But before we do, why don't you go grab yourself a nice cold one, come on back, and we'll get started. All right, folks, hopefully everybody made it back. Before we get started, I did want to say that I was contacted by the good folks over at GearBest, and they asked if I would review a couple of flashlights. And of course I said yes, because I like to do flashlight reviews. So they sent over this Nightcore MT06MD. I just wanted to be upfront about that. Anyhow, let's go ahead and open this thing up and see how it ships. And it looks like it ships with all the things that it should. Just taking a quick look at the box, you can see that its max setting is 180 lumens. And this is designed for first responders and medical professionals. So this is a pen light that somebody like an EMT, a doctor, a nurse, or a triage tech would use to maybe do a little bit of, a, of an investigation or checking somebody out. Maybe checking their pupils or something like that, checking their skin tone, uh, coloration, things like that. When you take a look at it, it says it's photobiological safe, and I have no idea what that means. It's a 5000K or, or uh, neutral white uniform lighting, and that's really important because a lot of flashlights come with like a uh, cool white or a warming uh, sensation or effect to the light, and what that can do is it can change the color of something. So if you're checking to see if somebody's flush or if they're pale, um, you want to make sure that you have a good natural light always turns on the low brightness which is really handy because if you're checking somebody's pupils you don't want to turn it on in turbo or something like that so this pen light does not have a memory mode <clears throat> it comes with the uh, Nightcore five-year warranty and then here is a warranty uh, service card that comes with that we got a user manual <laughs> we're not going to read that and it comes with some nice uh, o-rings which are always handy if you want to make sure that something is uh, sealed correctly and waterproof taking a look at this side of the packaging you can see its max output is 180 lumens, which you already covered. Its distance is 58 meters, and its max runtime is 35 hours. I'm sure that's on the four lumen setting. Um, take a look here. Your impact resistant is 1.5 meters, so if you drop it, you should be okay. And it's waterproof up to two meters. One of the other things I saw is, is that you can uh, actually dip this in rubbing alcohol to sterilize it in case any fluids, like bodily fluids, blood, or something like that, goes ahead and gets on your flashlight. Anyhow, let's just take a quick look at the flashlight itself if I can get it out of this piece of plastic. And there we go. Um, I can tell by the weight of this flashlight that it does not have uh, batteries in it. Let's see if I can zoom in on this and get a little bit better picture. So there you go, the MT-06MD. Take a look at this side. Uh, people may say, well, what are all those circles on there? These are actually different dimensions in millimeters for pupil dilation. So you can take a look at somebody's pupils, take a look at this, get an idea as to what size it is, and then you can go ahead and uh, you can notate that. If you listen here, there is a very light texture on the body of this flashlight, and that presumably is to help you uh, hold on to this flashlight. It has a nice pocket clip. This looks like it would carry very well in a shirt pocket or maybe like a lab coat uh, pocket, something like that. It has a metal tail clicky that uh, has a really good tactile sensation. Um, this is metal because if you want to dip this in alcohol to make sure that it's sterilized, uh, you don't want any rubber because alcohol will, will tear that up. It has an Ikea LED uh, emitter which is a pretty good emitter. It's, uh, it, it's popular in a lot of flashlights, so I'm glad to see it there. And it has a very smooth um, texture in, inside the reflector. Let's go ahead and put some batteries in here and uh, see how well this flashlight works. So anyhow, for this video review, we're going to use these batteries I got at Radio Shack. And they're AAA 1.5 volt alkaline batteries. This flashlight will also run off of uh, nickel metal hydride uh, rechargeable batteries which is what I would recommend if you're gonna leave batteries in here for a long time. These are just batteries that I happen to have laying around, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use them. All 
So when I screw that in, the flashlight immediately comes on. Now I've turned it off. Let's go ahead and go through the modes. So here we are with the lower four lumen mode. And what you get is a really well concentrated beam that uh, doesn't have any warm spots in it. I mean, that's probably pretty good for checking uh, somebody's eyes or pupil dilation. And I click it again, and now I'm on high mode. Let's turn it off and see what it comes on. It comes back to low, which is what we expected because that's what we read on the packaging. Now, even though I said we weren't going to read the instructions, I lied. Here are the different battery options, and you can see that it has primary and rechargeables. Do not use lithium ion or rechargeable lithium ion batteries. Take a look here, you can see, oh, I hit the camera, I'm sorry guys. Take a look here, you can see the dimensions. It's just over 5 inches at 128 millimeters. The head diameter is 0.55 of an inch or 14 millimeters, as is the tail. If you take a look at the weight, it's 0.78 ounces or 22 grams without the batteries. When you put the batteries in there, it gets a little bit heavier, but it's still pretty light. Even though it's not entirely popular, um, I do like pen lights quite a bit. I find them to be small, nice, lightweight, easy to carry, um, as I mentioned in a shirt pocket, or you can put these in uh, maybe an organizer or some sort of belt pouch um, or in a backpack. Uh, I, I just find them to be very convenient. And it's one of my primary uh, ways to EDC a light. So I'm pretty happy with this light. Uh, I like it quite a bit uh, and I'm quite impressed. I'll include links below as to where you can get this from GearBest website. Um, it's just under $25. I think it was $24.08 the last time I checked. Um, things like international rates, this ships from China, uh, from the GearBest warehouse. Um, anyhow, international exchange rates will change the price of things on a daily basis. Also, GearBest has a lot of sales where you can get this thing. I've seen it up to 33% off. I'm not sure my camera is going to do this flashlight justice, but let's go ahead and turn that on. Maybe you can see uh, the color of my hand. Um, it looks pretty pretty close to natural, uh, at least in my naked eye, but again, I'm not sure the camera is going to pick that up. And there it is on the high mode. Anyhow, folks, that's really it. I did want to say a big thanks to GearBest for sending me this, and thanks to everybody for watching. If you want to see more videos of a similar nature with similar content, go ahead and click like and subscribe. 